good morning, good afternoon, good evening from wherever you're watching us from. And of course, it's never a dull moment when we have Prince Papa on studio and Father Ben, who's also on the line waiting for us. Um, so today we have something totally different for you. Of course, we're going to mix it um, a bit. We're going to have a bit of uh, integration of uh, Laudato Si into the season of creation and about the uh, refueling uh, webinar that we're going to be having that is refueling Africa and also we're going to be talking about the new released uh, ICC report that is the sixth report by the scientist and uh, also as we go on we're going to find out more about um, more of the activities that we're going to be having uh, during the season of creation Energy and how they all uh, connect to each other stay tuned but before we go to the Prince Papa. Thank you so much, Linda. Thank yes. you so much. And it's indeed a beautiful but a very cold morning in Nairobi. <laughs> so thank you for having that's us a, here. That's amazing. Mm -hmm. So uh, Father Ben should be uh, waiting for us on the line, who is also going to be speaking about the IPCC uh, report. But before we get to Father Ben, uh, Prince, uh, this uh, refueling webinar Africa, it's meant to be beginning on uh, Friday, the last time we held it during the season of creation, why the change of heart? Yes, yeah, so thank you so much, Linda. And uh, first of and foremost, I would like to say thank you and thank you to Radio Maria for giving us this platform once again to talk about uh, the various programs that we have. So Refueling Africa is a really, really unique uh, concept uh, that Laudato Si movement with partners came up with. We want to look at Africa. When you hear the word fuel, right, mm -hmm. maybe you are thinking about the petrol or you are thinking about electricity to make automotives move. Mm -hmm. But now this is a, an Africa where we need uh, things to look at leadership. We need to refuel our leaders, uh, the type of leadership that we want mm -hmm. to see them, how they, we want them to, uh, to drive our, our, our region, Africa. Mm -hmm. uh, we don't want an Africa lagging behind when we, ta we talk about uh, development or the develop, um, developed world or the poor countries. We want really leaders to have that new fuel, new energy. And we also look at the type of energy that drives our economies from Cape to Cairo. We have to look at new renewable sources of energy mm -hmm. to drive this economy. Okay. So um, when we launch, first launched the Refueling Africa webinar uh, last year, uh, we were looking at now let us bring this together. We, s we are seeing conflicts everywhere in the world, right? We are seeing also new fossil fuels coming up everywhere, they are including Kenya, Uganda, Tanzania, uh, South Africa is there, but the impacts that are there, our leaders are not talking about this. So new leadership, like the youth, you see, over 70% percent, uh, percent of the world, but let's talk about Africa, is composed of youth. But when we look at youth into our policies, we, we see youth as just a mere constituent of the population. But now we should be talking about the youth leading these uh, uh, initiatives. Because 70% right. and 30%, you can just compare that. This is why we need to refuel our leaders. Mm -hmm. If you're a young person, you think you cannot lead, we need to give you these ideas mm -hmm. that can help you lead from... And program. before we get to that, uh, Father Ben, Yes. Can you hear us? Yes, I can hear you loud and clear. So, uh, Prince was just mentioning about uh, the main uh, methane, that is. Uh, and unfortunately for me, I thought this is something that we will deal with uh, during uh, high school moments. But then again, it's <laughs> very evident that uh, its concentration is still in the atmosphere. And we were trying to relate uh, this to uh, the IPCC report. So what is uh, the state, your uh, vision, or rather what do you, what is your take on the IPCC report? I know Prince has uh, already explained uh, what the IPCC report is um, as uh, the intergovernmental panel on, uh, on, on climate change. 
on climate change, the IPCC, and uh, this was released. Um, the latest has been released uh, in August 8th. Um, it's a report that is released by the UN, actually uh, UNEP, which is based in, uh, in Nairobi uh, every year. So this time they released this report and uh, it warns of severe, severe consequences if um, urgent action is not taken. And according to the report, uh, while we are optimistic that we can take action, that we, are, we have actually reached the tipping point, uh, the tipping point. Um, and, and so the report urges indeed the, um, the political leaders and everyone uh, to take urgent action. And it details how profoundly humans have altered uh, the climate and what the future will look like if harmful, indeed what Prince may have spoken about, carbon emission, continue on their current uh, trajectory. I like what uh, Father Ben has said about uh, climate impacts mm -hmm. increasing, right? Yes. And uh, this, it's good. I want to start by saying that it's good that IP, IPCC released this report. Mm -hmm. But uh, for us in the environmental field, this is not something new. Mm -hmm. And for Catholics, this is not something new. It's new in a sense that it's a research. Mm -hmm. We have, as Catholics, we have Laudato Si encyclical, in which Pope uh, has warned people, has advised people on what we need to do 